Coach Holt, uh, thank you for joining us, um, Team FYN Sports. Tell us, first of all, are you at home here in Bryson City? Uh, have you have you gotten uh, just uh, your, your your roots starting to grow in uh, Swain County? Yeah, um, any, anytime you come to a new place, you know, it's, uh, it's always a little different. And uh, I'll tell you, I've been welcomed with open arms. You know, it's mm -hmm. a great community, uh, a lot of people, a lot of support. You know, uh, they still live and breathe football in Swain County, right. and uh, that's a good thing. And they're just happy to, uh, you know, help you, offer anything they can. And uh, me and my family, we've adjusted real well of, you know, getting settled in and getting our feet wet, you know, in this first season. Well, what are your thoughts, what are your takeaways from Friday night's game? Uh, it was a little bit of a slower start to get the tempo up for you for uh, North Buncombe, knock a few mistakes out of the way. But after you got rolling, hey, man, shut them out, 21 points, not too bad of a football game. Yeah, we, you know, we, we kind of started slow and uh, kind of shot ourselves in the foot with some penalties and some turnovers. And uh, like I said, you know, we faced some adversity and we, you know, you always want to see how your team responds. And, uh, you know, about midway through the second quarter, we blocked a field goal that, uh, you know, North Buncombe attempted. And that really kind of changed the game for us. And we went down and scored and then, uh, you know, went into half up six to nothing. And, um, come out, made some adjustments, and then our kids just played very hard and finally got things going on offense. And, uh, you know, we uh, our plan was to kind of control the clock, and I think we ended up having the ball for almost 36 minutes wow. of the game. And so, you know, uh, we, we kind of took pride in that, that we were able to, you know, run the ball very well in the second half. I think we had a 13-play drive to open the second half, and we ended that with a touchdown and then got a two-point conversion. So, uh you know, glad that our kids, you know, hung in there and played tough, and uh, we made some adjustments and got it rolling, and uh, defense played really well to get the shutout. Well, you know, there's always been a little bit of drama in between a Jackson County and a Swain County team, back from Silva's Golden Hurricanes to the Golden Eagles to the Mustangs and playing any kind of Bryson City team. And But uh, coming into this football game, you got to watch Isaiah and Damar. Uh, they're uh, great runners, good physical football team. Tell me what you're thinking about to stop Smoky Mountain. Yeah, we just got to play assignment football. You know, know know your keys and read them and just be in your right spot. And uh, we always tell our kids, you know, do your 111th. Don't try to do somebody else's job. Right. And so for us Friday, you know, we just got to play uh, play our, our type of ball and, uh, you know, be physical, be tough. You know, it's always a big game, big rivalry. And, you know, you always kind of look forward to how your kids respond in, in these rivalry games. And Coach Brindley, he does a real good job. And, you know, I know they're going to be a tough opponent. They're coached well. And uh, they got some real good kids over there uh, wearing blue and gray. And so uh, it's one of those things that for us, we just got to play real hard, do our assignment, and uh, try to take care of the football offensively and just uh, – Play tough, hard-nosed defense. Well, uh, good luck and best wishes. And as uh, we'll tell every coach that we talk to, uh, go Maroon Devils. Yes, sir. Thank All you. Right.